the first thing we want to do in a problem like this, like you guys have seen in the PowerPoints, is to pull out an i. So the first thing I'm going to write is i the square root of 18 minus i the square root of 8. Right? Again, why can I do that? Because the square root of negative 1 equals i. Okay, and so I'm using the definition of i to quote unquote pull it out. All right, now what I want to try to do is simplify these square roots. All right, so I have a square root of 18. All right, well, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, if I want to try to do a factor tree on 18, what do I have? Well, I know that 18 is 9 times 2. And for the square root of 8, I'm thinking, okay, well, what goes into 8? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's 4 times 2. Now, why am I choosing 4 and 9? Because they're perfect squares, right? What is the square root of 9? It's 3. What is the square root of 4? It's 2. So, I can write, since the square root of 9 is 3, I can write 3i, and what's left inside is a 2, minus, again, since the square root of 4 is 2, I can write a 2i, and that lone 2 stays inside. So let me add a little bit of color to this so you guys can see exactly what I mean here. Uh, okay, so the square root of 9 I was able to evaluate as 3. The square root of 4 I was able to evaluate as 2. This 2 on the inside stays on the inside as the square root of 2. This 2 on the inside simply stays where it is inside the radical. So what's our final answer here? We have a 3i the square root of 2 minus a 2i the square root of 2. And what you guys will hear me say often is these are like objects. They're like paper clips or keys. So I have 3i the square roots of 2 and I subtract 2i the square root of 2. So how many i the square roots of 2 do I have? I have 1i the square root of 2 and that is my final answer.